First, before I say anything, um, this has been such a wild and insane ride over the past couple of years with Fortnite Mobile and with you guys. And honestly, I just wanted to thank everybody that's ever supported me over the last couple of years. And I owe all my success to you guys because without you guys, I'm literally nothing. Uh, but I just want to let you guys know this is not the end for me. I will adapt and we will overcome this and I'll come out better than ever. This is just the beginning for me. This is just the beginning for us and my channel. This is gonna be a monumental point in turn but uh yeah that being said let me know what kind of content you guys would like to see from me moving forward and also yeah i will push to do the best content i could possibly do for you guys because that's my goal is to entertain you guys and that's what i will do forever so don't worry about that the content coming from me and my channel will continue to be fire and the best possible content i could put out anyways enjoy the rest of the video all right well this is the absolute last video I expected to make today and the last video I've ever wanted to make because this is essentially the end of Fortnite Mobile. Let me explain. I'm not going to have any edits in this video. I'm not going to have any intro or anything. I just want to talk for real with you guys for a second because I just got done watching the Epic versus uh, Apple uh, court hearing today, which today we were supposed to find out what the final resolution was for this. And uh, inside this court hearing, we learned a lot of things. So stay tuned. If you guys are new here and not already subscribed, make sure to smash that subscribe button, turn on post notifications and hit the like button as well. And also, this is a question I never thought I'd ask. If you guys could do me a favor, go down below in the comments comments let me know what kind of content you guys want to see what kind of other games you'd like to see what kind of other content you would like to see because uh, it's gonna get harder and harder to make Fortnite mobile content as the days go on and let me explain why so basically today in the hearing um, basically they went over all the same points we knew already in the past uh, basically about how uh, all, all of Epic's claims and why they're doing this direct payment thing and why Apple said they're breaching their contract and all that stuff. I made videos on it in the past. You guys already know all this information. But anyways, today we thought Fortnite Mobile would come back to the App Store and either Epic Games would win or Apple would win. But we knew whoever won, uh, Fortnite would come back to the App Store, but that's not what happened. Um, in today's uh, hearing, we learned that uh, Apple actually offered, or Apple agreed to a temporary solution to allow Epic Games to fall under compliance, which would put Fortnite Mobile back on the App Store. They told Epic Games if they fall under compliance temporarily, they'll put Fortnite Mobile back on the App Store and let them figure out this whole fight by themselves, and then they would be able to, um, and they'd be able to figure out everything by themselves while us Fortnite Mobile players are allowed to continue playing the game, getting updates and all that fun stuff, which would be ideal. Um, well, we all thought Epic Games would say yes, but Epic Games said no. They declined this. They said no. We're not falling under compliance because then we're falling, uh, then we're falling trapped to like, basically like, they're doing what Apple says when they're not when they're fighting against doing what Apple says or whatever. That's just how I interpreted it. So, anyways, uh, we were like, "Dang it! Well, this stinks. I wonder what's gonna happen now." Well, at the end, uh, we actually learned um, at the very end the the judge said that uh, this is gonna go on for a much much longer time than expected, and complete documentation of documentation of data is due by January sixth, twenty twenty one. And the trial will begin in July 2021. They are shooting for a July 2021 court date um, or July 2021 trial date. Uh, sorry if any of my terminology is wrong right now because I'm just speaking from the heart with you guys. But this means we will not see Fortnite Mobile back in the App Store for at least another 10 months. As of right now, we will not see Fortnite Mobile back in the App Store for another 10 months. And I'm sure all you guys play Fortnite Mobile, you have seen what has happened to the community the past two months that this has been going on. It has been awful. The past two months have been so bad for Fortnite Mobile and the Fortnite Mobile community. Um, so imagine another 10 months of this. And also, if my iPad breaks... I can't make Fortnite mobile content. If my iPad breaks, I can't download Fortnite. If I go to the store and buy a new iPad, I can't download Fortnite on it. So I'm kind of in trouble here. Um, it's kind of tough. So let me know what kind of content you guys want to see moving down the line. I'm going to obviously bring as much Fortnite mobile content as I possibly can. But as time goes on, it's going to be harder and harder because there's no new content. There's no updates. There's I might not even be able to play the game in a couple weeks from now. Who knows? But yeah, I just want to update you guys on this whole situation. This likely seems like the end of Fortnite Mobile. Had Epic just said yes and agreed to the terms, um, Fortnite would be literally back in the App Store right now as, as you're watching this video. Uh, and this case would continue. All the money would be put aside until a winner was declared. Um, and it was treated very, very fairly. Like the option was very fair for both parties, Apple and Epic, but Epic declined it. Um, 
I don't know. Epic just said no. And this really sucks for Fortnite mobile players and even Fortnite players in general because it's going to hurt the uh, prize earnings of all PC players and console players because they've got less money coming into the company. So obviously they can't give out as much money in tournaments. So this is going to affect everybody in the long run. So it's kind of scary and I really don't know what to expect and I don't know what to think right now. But this, I just wanted to get this raw video out to you guys and let you know what happened in the court hearing today because as I said, many of us thought that we were going to get um, all the information we needed today and we would know what was happening today but no this is getting pushed back until um, what I say July 2021 it's ridiculous anyways thank you guys so much for watching uh, if you guys could leave a like on the video it would mean the world to me and also go down below in the comment section right now let me know what kind of content you guys want to see I'm thinking of mixing some Among Us content on the channel with you guys maybe throw in some PC videos who knows um, and then in the future, obviously keep the Fortnite mobile content, maybe COD mobile. I don't know. Let me know what you guys want to see. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for all the support through all of this. You guys have been absolutely amazing. Without your guys' support, it would have been so hard for me to get through this because this is so hard. You guys know this is my career. This is everything I have, everything I've built on. Uh, so it's very tough, but thank you so much for watching and thank you for all the support. I really do appreciate you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully, it'll be a lot more positive than this, and uh, I'm going to be trying to get out some fire content. No matter what happens, I'm always going to be making fire content for you guys. That is my goal. Entertain you guys, and I will always do it no matter the circumstances. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.